Follow my keep profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the ride. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. These don't trust them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hit or brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snipping out the Mad Cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys what I think is probably the best and most disruptive A-gap blitz in the entire game. And I'm going to be using a meta-style defense that most people are using, but nobody really knows about this blitz. Unless you saw the video that I put out already for college football. I already put out a blitz from this, but the setup for this is a little bit different. There's actually a couple different ways you can do it. So I'm going to get right into it. But before I do, if you guys want to see more defensive videos for Madden, because I've been putting out a lot of college stuff lately, or just more defensive videos in general, because this also works in college football, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or in the top hand comment. Now the defense I'm going to show you guys today is something I'm labbing for my Las Vegas Raiders defensive eBook that's going to be coming out pretty soon. I'll have a full breakdown of this on my Patreon and on my Join Now community tab and all that stuff. But this is a scheme that you can really do out of any nickel double mug. I'm using the nickel 2-4, which to me is probably the best one because both outside linebackers stand up and that's kind of important. But let's go ahead and let's pick the play. This blitz can really be done out of just about any single play in this formation, but it's going to be best if you use it out of formations that look like this, where you have the defensive ends and defensive tackles only blitzing. So plays like the cover three sky, the cover three seam, which is going to be the one that I'm going to show you because that's my favorite. The cover two inverts, uh, the regular invert hard flat cover two. I mean, it really works out of just about any one of these base defenses. The Tampa two, there's so many different defenses you can do. This is a universal setup. I can do it out of anything, including mid blitz. But like I said, to me, the best defense to use is going to be the cover three seam. But first I want to show you guys the substitutions. Now you can change these linebackers out to make sure that you have your fastest guys in the right place. This is going to be the guy that gets the pressure most of the time. So I really have my choice of either taking Devin White here. I think it's like a 90 speed linebacker and flipping him over here. Or I can actually put any linebacker or even safety. If I want to put a safety in the spot, if I have like a 95 speed safety or something crazy like that, I can put him there. But I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to use, I can use Tristan McCollum or I can use Ben Van Sumer. He's a 91 speed, but I think Nolan Smith Jr. is the fastest. He's like a 93 speed. So we're going to put him there. I also want to make sure that this defensive end on this side is going to be a decent, fast user linebacker because it's a defensive end right now and it's Brandon Graham and I think he's below 80 speed so if I want to put somebody on this edge here that's really fast once again I don't really know the speeds of these players necessarily off the top of my head and they don't even have it in practice mode but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put uh, just somebody fast I, I'm gonna use um, I guess Nicobe Dean's fine because that's gonna be my user most of the time so I picked random because you're gonna see how devastating this can be against shotgun or under center looks although realistically going against the computer on all Madden and the computer is going to find somebody and get rid of it. So really not a lot of setup here. There's two ways you can do this. I showed this already in college football, which obviously is the same engine. All you really have to do is blitz all linebackers, which is deep pad to the right and down. And then I have a couple different options. I can either just bring this guy in right here, which is something that I don't think you can do in college football, or I could spread the defensive line and then flip him around and bring him right here. There's two different setups and there's really two different times to use each. I'll show you guys those as they come up, but this is pretty much going to be it. As you'll see, if it was a pass play, obviously it was a run play, but as you see, if it's a pass play, typically we're going to get some A-gap pressure. I said that'll be the biggest issue here is um, how often we actually get run plays. But you saw the run defense is decent, so we're going to do that again. Like I said, I just have to stay here for a half a second before I drop back. And you can see on the very first play, Nolan Smith and his 93 speed is coming right down the pipe. And this is pretty much it. This is the basis of this defense. This guy right here comes in untouched. I have no idea why Madden has it this way, why it's programmed this way. I just know that you can see that the guard, which I'm hovering, is going to react to me. And it's because I'm closer. If you look at the, the way that these linemen are spaced apart, I'm closer to that guard 
than uh, the, than the, I mean, it's very minor. It's a very big minor difference, but you can see I'm hovering closer and so are the defensive linemen. They're all closer than the linebackers, which is why the game is programmed to pick me up first and pick this uh, linebacker up second. Now, when I drop back, you can see 65 is going to immediately try to switch his attention, but it's too late. So basically, even if you block a running back, I'll show that against blocking running backs. A lot of times, this guy's still going to come right down the pipe. If you're blocking six, if you're blocking the running back, it doesn't matter. This guy's still going to come right down the pipe. And I'll show you that out of multiple coverages. Like I said, I like cover three because there's multiple things you can do with that. You can go do a cover three hard flat. You can switch over to a cover three sky. These are things you can do very easily from a cover three scene that you can't necessarily do from a cover three sky. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show from a different coverage. We're going to go with the cover two invert, just something kind of weird, just to show you that this is a universal blitz with just about any defense in this formation. So I'll continue with random. Like I said, really easy setup. All I have to do, blitz all linebackers, D-pad. And then, like I said, I find it works best to flip this guy around, but there is another setup that has less uh, steps. But like I said, when you're right in front of this guard towards the uh, the outside here on the uh, the right tackle, don't know what we're gonna get. It looks like a run play. I can't imagine it's gonna be a pass, but it was. And you can see it's very easy for me to drop back on my responsibility. As we get another instant a gap sack uh, right down the pipe. Even Patrick Mahomes, 99 overall Patrick Mahomes on all Madden, which I'll show you guys. Even he can't figure out what to do. I don't even know if I can go to options. Uh, real quick, just to show you guys that I, I only really do this on all Madden. All Madden competitive, you can see it right there. So, you know, typically quarterbacks against just about any blitz in the game is going to throw that ball away. Now, I'll show you guys another setup you can do, which is going to be best against empty backfield. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick uh, something here where my opponent's going to try to spread me out. We'll just go random. Uh, we'll go, go random plays. So if you have a spread look like this, you can still do this look, but obviously I have to cover... Um, the, the slot receiver this time. So I'm going to move in just like this. It's all I have to do for this play to work. I find it works best against empty backfield looks. Just It just might be the way it's designed. But if I move this guy in close to this defensive end, I still have plenty of room to drop back on that slot receiver. The seam flats will match the slot receivers on both sides. And this is going to give me that exact same pressure. And I just have to move in and boom. There's no way any quarterback is going to get off a competent read with that much pressure in their face. And it's very consistent. I'll just do this over and over. I don't have to, you know, I don't even have to edit this video. That's how easy this is. As you can see every time he's just coming right down the pipe. This is super frustrating for anybody that's going to be facing it. I'm sure you can slide protect, but even if you do, a lot of times the other defensive ends are going to come off the edge. So it's something that it's kind of a catch-22, especially if you're in an empty backfield look like this, because it's always going to read like you're blitzing six when you're really not. You're dropping back immediately. So one of the things I also want to show too when it comes to the coverage, uh, if I want to play it this way, this is a matching cover three. So on a look like this, this is one of the reasons I'm recommending cover three defense. These slot receivers in both Kelsey and more specifically 24 can get open right up the seam. But because of this blitz has matching seam flats, any route up the seam, they will prioritize. So if it is something where they try to beat you up the seam, that cover three flat is going to cover it. If they try to beat you on a corner route, it'll usually match with it too. But I can also go to corner routes if I just play over the top. You'll notice that it goes to a curl flat. That will take care of corner routes better than the seam flat. It'll prioritize that and it overrides the matching principles. Or since cover three is typically vulnerable underneath the dropping cornerbacks, I could also just go straight underneath and hard flat, which I find is very good because to be honest with you, a lot of people are gonna have to get rid of this ball very fast if they can't figure out how to pick up this blitz. So a lot of times I'll go hard flats, but that's really depend on the, depending on the offense. If I see a spread offense like this, I will typically leave the seam flats because I know they're trying to attack the seams. But if they're in a tight condensed package, offensive package, I'll go underneath and protect the flats. And you really just have your choice. If they're, if they're attacking the, 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 you know, you can always do any number of things with those adjustments but ultimately this is a very good and very easy defense to set up you could also do that a mid blitz although i don't see the point of that based off the fact that this is definitely the worst coverage in the game but i can do the exact same setup where i just hover this gap and you can see how we get that guy right through the middle it doesn't really matter there's no real time to throw uh, as this is just an absolutely devastating blitz. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more uh, more Madden stuff specifically, please make sure to be subscribed to the like button in the comment section. Other than that, I'm going to have some videos that I already put out about Madden popping up on screen. So if you want to check that out, just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.